I think people are more receptive to hear the message and the music if it sounds good and, and it's like right in the flow of what's current right now. Yeah, totally. It's like putting medicine in the candy so they don't even know. And they're like, hold on, what do you say, vegan? Hey, friends, it's Jeff and Jeff hanging out again. And today we have a special guest, Gray. Yes, hey. Gray. <laughs> Gray, the very talented <laughs> rap artist and vegan who has this vegan Thanksgiving video that went viral and has been viewed over 20 million times. Is that correct? 20 million times? It's probably over 30 now. Oh, 30 million times. Well, I'm going to show a quick clip from that video right now. Get everything to get that soul food working like mac and cheese, the collard greens, the black eyed peas, and get a roast of that tofu turkey. Got cornbread, even got stuff. Mashed potatoes so good, put your hands in it. Stream beans, and you know we got yams with it. Got cabbage and greens with no ham in it. You can fill your plate up without all the guilt and whip pies. So, hey, Gray, thanks for joining us, man. It's great having you here. Oh, no, thanks for having me, man. I'm excited. Yeah, us too, us too. You got a lot going on. Yes, sir. Trying to stay busy. Yeah, so we got a lot to talk about, so I want to get right into it. So um, tell us a little bit about your, your history, where you grew up, how you got into music, and so on. So I'm originally from South Florida, uh, born and raised, and then uh, I moved to Baltimore in 2011, and then moved to Atlanta 2014. Um, I've been doing music since 98. I've been writing music since 98. I've probably uh, been professional since 2010. And, um, you know, I just continue. I, I uh, played football in high school, ended up playing football in college. Um, but I had a passion for music, man. And uh, I graduated with a, with a bachelor's in marketing and uh, went and jumped in the corporate field, stuck with the music for a little bit. But then uh, I actually quit the corporate gig in 2015. I've been doing it full time. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so tell me, where, where did the name Gray come from? I mean, what's the meaning behind that? Yeah, so as a kid, man, we used to crack jokes on each other. And my mom's white, my dad's black. So huh. they used to call me a Gray baby. <laughs> so that's, 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 that's where it stuck, man. Uh, <laughs> it used to be Lil Gray at first. And then, you know, I got a tattoo. And <laughs> probably yeah. That, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh it's well, with, me, man. well, with March uh, Muscle Madness coming soon, you're gonna be uh, big gray, I guess. That's right, there you go. I like that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <Big gray. laughs> um, talk to us about your rise up in the music world. You know, were you always making songs with a vegan emphasis, or did that did you evolve into that? Did you get any negative throwback when you started promoting the vegan lifestyle? And, and, and tell me about that. Um, I definitely didn't, you know, it, it all changed when I changed my diet. Uh, I wasn't always vegan. Um, my girl got me vegan in, uh, 20, 2016. Mm -hmm. Um, we started our vegan journey. She wanted to go vegan at first and I was like, you know, have fun. I'll support you from this side. I'm not going vegan by no means. Like, That's what I said to my wife. You know, and, uh, <laughs> she made that meal. She made her first meal. It was, a uh, like chicken Alfredo and, uh, you know, I fully converted like four four months later after she kept cooking all these meals, man. Mm. And uh, but once once I changed the the diet, my mind started to change. Um, you know, I knew the physical attributes would change. You know, I lost twenty pounds, my skin was clearing up, blood pressure went down, but my mind started to change. It was a lot clearer. It was a lot um, just light. I always say light. I don't know how to explain it, but I was just. Woke up, the birds were chirping, uh, you know, I was just more compassionate. It was just a brighter sense and feeling. So that then altered my music and what I talk about because um, it just changed my outlook on the world, changed my outlook on different issues. And I wanted to incorporate what I was learning into my music, you know? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Did, did you feel any kind of backlash because i know from i used to be in the entertainment industry too but about 15 years ago and i noticed that there's a big gap between artistry and health mm -hmm. you know did you notice that a lot you know in your community and the, the the music community and people just don't consider that part of their life because you just said i lost what was it 20 pounds yeah i i think like <clears throat> meeting meeting the audience that i'm trying to reach and meeting people where they're at uh meaning like uh using the medium of music. I think people are more receptive to hear the message and the music if it sounds good and, and it's like right in the flow of what's current right now. Yeah, totally. It's like putting medicine in the candy so they don't even know, 
And they're like, hold on, what do you say, vegan? Hey, sliding the beat like a rarest. Got the broccoli steaming the carrots. Trying to find me a beach out in Paris. Got me plotting my piece for our parish. The vision's imperative. Eating my carrots. Apparently, just tried the seed. I'm a parent. You know that she plant based, dripping from the top. You know, and, and it gets you thinking. You know, because in a lot of people's mind, veganism's, uh, veganism looks one way and they don't think about, you know, different walks of life going vegan. So, um, yeah, yeah. It, Pretty cool. I didn't. I didn't get that much backlash. I gave more backlash when they uh -huh. said, when bet. they called me the vegan rapper. That's that's what got me. I was like, I'm more than a vegan rapper. I've been rapping before I was vegan, but right. You know, <laughs> no, it was all. It's all love. Yeah. 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 Well, see, Jeff. You know, for instance, you know, Jeff. You know, show me. Give me. Give me one of these, Jeff. Jeff's got arms <laughs> for days, and that's that's one of his ways to get it through. Because, like you said, getting it through music, giving the information through music is different than the what you would say the normal way of getting the information out. And then Jeff uses his company, he uses his body, you know, he travels around the United States. You know, Jeff, you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, just, just today in the gym, um, uh, I had a shirt that, you know, said vegan on it, like most of my shirts do. <laughs> um, but uh, every opportunity to strike up a conversation, but a guy just out of the blue stranger walked right up to me and he said, how long you been vegan? I said, 34 years. He goes, oh, you're one of the real ones. <laughs> there's no excuses here you got that body from plants and i said right and he goes i'm coming to the gym all the time and i'm working out i'm over 50 and i'm just not seeing any results at all and clearly you're getting them and it's got to be what i'm putting into my body and i said mm. yeah because we're both working out hard and i said you know so i talked to him a little bit about it and he goes i'm ready for a big change i'm tired of feeling like this i'm tired of looking like this I want to look like that. I want to feel like you do. I see you carry yourself in the gym, you know? And to me, that's what this does. I'm not about the vanity. I don't care about that stuff. I'm about, you know, inspiring people. And I think you can do that so wonderfully with the message you do with music. Cause you know, I see humor, I see music, I see the arts. These are great ways because people are so open and receptive to that. And if you pull that message in with it, people can, pull that in and, and open up, you know, sometimes people get a little confrontational when you bring up change or especially in diet. But, you know, if you are just there representing like you do with music and, and the words and the spoken word, or just being an example with your body, you know, yeah. that can be a way to invite people into the conversation. And look, we all want to feel better. We all want to have a healthier life. You know, this, right. It shouldn't be something we're afraid to talk about. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of not being afraid to talk about it, let's get into the, that Thanksgiving video for, for, for a minute. So if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> this, I was, I was kind of, it was funny to read this about you. You almost deleted that video before it went out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I almost deleted it, man. I took like a breath right before, uh, I think it hit the Whole Foods early or something. I think right, right before it hit the Whole Foods early, I took like a breath and I was like, man, I pressed delete and it said confirm. And I was like, oh, you were there. Let me, let me listen one more time. And I listened to it. I said, let me just drop it. And I'm glad I didn't delete it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that movie with uh, that Tom Cruise that he was about to send out that, what was that movie called? Do you guys remember where he was about to send out that, 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 mission statement to his whole company and he was like do i do this do i do this and then he does it and then it changes his whole life um and it's kind of like that um yeah I'm gonna, make the money right that's right that's right jerry Maguire. jerry Maguire. that's right so tell us how that came about how that video come about like the creation of that video and, and how did it feel to you after almost deleting it and then it went viral like that it was crazy man uh i i used to freestyle in my car every friday so if you look up the hashtag uh, Gray Kent Freestyle, you'll see like 170 some videos of me just freestyling. I did it for two years straight. And this was just another day in the office. It was just, it was around, it was November 12th. It was around Thanksgiving. I, I go on Instagram and I hear beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. I say, you know what, this, this, this beat is hot, man. You know what, this is my next freestyle. Nice. And, um, and like two days before that, I met Shaq, right? And I put him on Instagram and I had 4,000 followers total. Yeah. And it took me two days to get 800 views from Shaq. And that's like the most I ever got. Right. So then I dropped this video 
30 minutes later, um, I look at my phone, it's at 1500 views. I'm like, what is going on? Right. And I, I go in my comments and I'm like strolling, trying to uh, respond to the comments. Like in 30 seconds, I click back, it's over 3000 views. I was like, okay, something's going on here. Yeah, and I went from like 4,000 to like 25,000 followers overnight, man. It was uh, wow. pretty, pretty crazy. But um, it was a good feeling, man. It was, it was, it was, you know, as an artist, you put out your art, you keep putting out your art, and sometimes you you sell your art cheap because you you just want someone to have it. Right. Uh, sometimes you feel like people don't see value in your art. So when you get recognition for what you love to do, it was just overwhelming, man. It's like. Um, pathway into my purpose Understand. yeah it's, it's one thing to see a, a vegan song that's funny and amusing but it's also another one to see serious talent and that's when i saw your video i was like that's the real deal with the message i mean it's really the talent is incredible um so, yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna show another little quick clip of that right here cupcakes raspberry icing Top it off a coffee, yes, a light cream. Put a vegan cookie dough, vanilla ice cream. Need a plate for your leash. Tell me what you need. I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes. So you have a vegan chef in your life, that's correct. Hey, Chef Nikki in the mix. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that for a second. What that? That must be a, a quite a blessing. Oh yes, man. Well, that's my girl. She uh, she wasn't always a chef. She started chefing right when she turned, right when she went vegan. Yeah. Um, she as soon as she went vegan, she started doing her own research, looking up YouTube. I mm -hmm. come in the kitchen in the mornings, there's flour all over the wall, uh, <laughs> powder all over the floor. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, well, I'm making my own biscuits and gravy today. I'm like, well, go ahead, you know? And uh, yeah, she uh, she definitely made the transition a lot easier. I mean, uh, if it wasn't for her, man, I don't know where I'd be. I'd still be out there, uh, you know, eating terrible. So yeah, uh, she made it a lot easier. She did all the research and she turned into a chef. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, all three of us have that, uh, that blessing of having a, a wonderful woman you know yes. cooking up those meals for us nice um yeah so all right let's let's get into the meat of the matter here the vegan muscle the vegan muscle you're participating in march muscle madness and march muscle madness. yeah and you're wanting to put on as much mass as you can to help promote the vegan lifestyle tell us about why you decided to go this route and what you're going to be taking to help you gain that muscle as efficiently as you can well i think it's um I think it's a couple of reasons why. One, I, I need to get in the gym. Uh, like I've been, you know, I, I lost, you know, the weight. And right. I'm enjoying being healthy with no muscle because for the longest, I've been huge, like playing football. And so I would, you know, I would wear two X size shirts and I go into the mall and there's a mannequin wearing a medium shirt. And it looks good on the medium, but when I go buy the two X, it doesn't look the same. So I'm right. enjoying being in, but this is the lowest I want to be. I need to be back in the gym. I say, what better way uh, than to just do a, a challenge or, or, or uh, yeah, a challenge pretty much for myself and for others as I document can inspire someone else and kill the stereotype that there's no, uh, you know, strong vegans or you can't build muscle on a vegan diet. So I want to kill that, you know, stereotype as well because I know right. it, it can be done. I mean, I, I see small vegans. I'm looking at you too. I'm looking, I know, you know, a ton of yeah. small vegans. So um, I, I reached out to Corinne, mm -hmm. um, Corinne Sutton, and uh, he's helped me with the game plan and the, uh, the meal prep and uh, yeah, and everything else. And then my man, you know, hopefully, you know, the clean machine is going to help me out with the supplements. That's and, right. Uh, and get me, get me boosted and jack, man. I'm excited. That's yeah. awesome. Karen, the three-time pro natural bodybuilder, does it without any drugs and does it just using real good plant-based nutrition. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, uh, love having uh, him as, as part of Team Clean Machine. Love helping you out with the, with the nutrition part of it, too. And yeah, we're all in this together. Let's let's build each other up in this community and let's inspire more people. That's what it's all about, right? That's right. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel another video coming on, another another song coming on. Yeah. <laughs> swoliosis. I got the swoliosis. Yeah, swoliosis. <laughs> That's funny, man. Um, so we're going to be giving you your own coupon code, which is gray. I'm going to link that down in the description for 34% off during the whole month of March on cleanmachineonline.com. Uh, for clean, clean Machine, yeah, plant-based fitness nutrition supplements. 
which are incredible. Um, and we look forward to your progress and your results, man. We're going to catch you on an interview at the, at the end of your uh, one month uh, muscle, March muscle madness journey here and uh, get okay. you back on here so we can uh, see the before and after. Yeah, I'll probably be, you know, I'll probably be a little bit bigger, you know, <laughs> sitting on this little camera, man. <laughs> yeah, well, we're excited, but great. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. We look forward to your gains. We thank you for all that you're doing for the, uh, for the planet, the environment, the animals, and human health, and we appreciate your work. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I look forward to it, man. Yeah, our pleasure. Look forward to seeing your progress, my friend. Let's get it. Oh, let's get swole, baby. Go get it. <laughs> yeah.